Fun Fanatics. We're back out here this evening. Me and Matt in the same spot where he took that big, nice Missouri eight point here about nine of uh, almost a week and a half or so ago. What we have done is we have been very patient for the right wind to come back in here. Most guys would have gotten excited and come back. But we have waited and we are, you know, it's tried and true, so patience is a virtue this evening. Um, watching this same field, so hopefully it'll play out as it did uh, here last week or so ago when Matt killed this big buck, so stay tuned with us. said something real uh, inspirational to Al and I want to capture the moment we were, we were sitting here talking about our hunting styles are different I'll go in for them if I see a deer I'll start trying to figure out how to get on them I'll push to the bedding area I'll stalk a deer I'll get down and crawl in the ditch Alan wants to kind of stay back and
right, folks. You probably had just finished that slow motion clip of me taking a shot on this doe, and you may have thought to yourself, what was he thinking? Well, I can tell you what I was thinking. I love bow hunting, um, and I get just ex excited on a doe as I do on a monster buck, and I am not afraid to pull the trigger. Um, so I, I would say that probably doe fever got a little bit of the best of me on this one. Just being from the ground and being on my knees and watching her come into range from 70 yards. Uh, she did go broadsided, but she started to quarter way much sharper than I had uh, anticipated. Um, after reviewing the footage several times, um, I, I believe she had ducked. She dropped quite a bit and turned, so my shot placement might not originally have been as bad as I first anticipated. Uh, but in any case, I'm very happy. This was a very exciting moment. Uh, but I'm fortunate enough to have harvested this doe to have the meat for the winter. All right, folks. Well, definitely not proud on how this hunt ended this evening, but that's how hunting goes. The shot uh, did not go well. It was not a lethal hit. Had to put her down by other means. Of course, we had to edit and cut some of that footage for YouTube, but hey, that is all part of bow hunting. This is public land. I was able to harvest this doe. I need the meat for this winter. Appreciate Matt for helping me through this process, and we'll see you next time.